Now then, my friends, I've got to say, well, we're on an American road trip, a little bit of a road trip, because we're going from one state to another. Uh, we're in New York at the moment, and we're off to Pennsylvania I'm with my buddy Martin here. And we've been in a bit of a state, I have to say, because the last video that you saw was Vegas. Well, in the meantime, that was that around about a week to 10 days ago, we've been in a bit of a state. We've not been very well. I've uh, been sick. We've been sick, we've been a bit poorly. Chesty cold. Chesty cold. Ponytail's been very sad. His ponytail's been a bit sad. Been very droopy. This is not the only thing that's been droopy. <laughs> anyway, this is a family channel, supposedly. Um, we're off to Pennsylvania today. It's a bit of a road trip. We're going to take you guys with us. Um, we'll try and be upbeat for you, show you a few things along the way, get a few clips uh, going from one state to the other, and then we're going to have a little breakfast when we get there. So um, looking forward to this. And hopefully, with it not being in Vegas, it will be a little bit cheaper because things have been a little costly and lots of the comments are, wow, it's expensive over there. So we're going to try and find somewhere that's a little bit more uh, less expensive, let's say. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe. I forgot what to say. It's been yeah. about a week. And that, that thing down there. And that thing See, down I still there. remember vaguely. You still remember vaguely. I've been in bed for six days. <laughs> oh, man. But we did get COVID checked, so no worries there. We don't have COVID. Yeah, so uh, there you go. And I had to postpone my flight back home, yeah. which was the worst thing for you because I've been with I didn't, I didn't, that's what made me, made me sick. <laughs> Another bloody week with you. Anyway, <laughs> without further ado, my friends, let's go. Up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joy ride. Percy Feast is the spot. Right, so. We're actually uh, on the road now, we're moving. A lot of traffic there just coming uh, into Brooklyn. Uh, not Brooklyn, was it? It was the we're Bronx. Got, we're going on the Cross Bronx uh, Expressway to get to the George Washington Bridge, so it's all some always a mess. Now we've just gone over the GW Bridge into New Jersey. George Washington. So we're uh, three states, well, five if you include me and Martin. Uh, so we've got, uh, got New York State. Uh, we're going to have uh, New Jersey, state of New Jersey, and then state of Pennsylvania, uh, and then obviously us two, which are a state at the moment, in a yeah. little bit of a state. Now, everybody as a child in the UK or, or in Europe or wherever you're watching from around the world, we all had American TV growing up, and you all see these American road trips, and you think, oh yeah, great American road trips, like the Hitcher, where he picks up you know, a hitchhiker and uh, it all goes wrong, and that kind of thing. The reality is somewhat different on an American road trip. There's lots of traffic jams, lots of highways and freeways. I did uh, a trip four years ago and I drove in one go. I'd stopped for gas, petrol, uh, from, from Florida all the way up to New Jersey with a friend of mine. And uh, that took 23 hours. Uh, and the reality is there really isn't a lot to see other than waffle houses um, I saw a few uh, like uh, 20, caravans oh, I'm just thinking about 23 hours in a car with you 23 oh, hours in a car with me oh my God. I just saw like <laughs> I don't even know I just saw like lots of trailers and trailer parks uh, and things like that and lots of signs saying uh, Jesus is real, God is real, lots of religious signs on the way. That's yeah, probably Florida. On the way up. That was, yeah, Florida State. Carolinas. Stuff. And I also did a, a road trip from um, Los Angeles to Las Vegas and back again. And oh my goodness, that was the longest, most boring road trip ever. This is not as bad because I got my buddy with me. We're going to go and get something to eat. We're going to take you guys with us, show you a little bit of the uh, scenery along the way. Pennsylvania is a beautiful place. Reminds me a lot of the Lake District. So uh, sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. We're on a boat, we're feeling fine. Drinking Tennessee whiskey, a big blue sky. We're going up, we're coming down. There's a party on the water, it's a hell of a time. We're on a boat, we're killing time. In our own honky-tonk with a bottle of wine. 
Right, so we're actually coming up to the Delaware Water Gap now, uh, not far away, uh, and Martin's got a little bit of information on this for you. I'm not even going to try and explain it, so, uh, Martin. Um, well, it's, it's, it's a big gap <laughs> where the Delaware Water goes through. That's why they call it the Delaware Water Gap. Uh, the Delaware River, um, which I think runs all the way down to Delaware um, and out to the ocean down there somewhere, it breaks through uh, this big um, in the hilly area called the Delaware Water Gap, and it's kind of it's, it's really pretty. It's, uh, there's there's all kinds of trails, but the Appalachian Trail, which uh, runs down the east coast of America, which a lot of people will try to hike. Um, I don't know that how long it is. It's hundreds of miles, but uh, that runs right through there. I once tried to get to the top of it, and I got almost up there. It was kind of a hike many years ago. Uh, my dog, if you remember my old my yeah, dog, yeah, yeah, pretty, the, old, yeah. the old Rottweiler, she just sat down halfway up and looked at me like you. Uh, <laughs> so we didn't quite we didn't quite get to the top, but hopefully you'll be able to get a good view. It's a beautiful day today on the way out to. Uh, we're heading to Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, um, just for either today or we might even stay over, depending how late it gets. What's going to be interesting is a lot of you guys out there have said we've had breakfast and we've had food in New York, we've had food in Vegas. Uh, and there was one comment in particular that said, yeah, but you're eating in two of the most expensive places in the US. So it's going to be interesting to see, we're going to have breakfast out here uh, in Pennsylvania to see what the cost of the food is out here. And it, a lot of it, as I've actually said, is for me from being from England and the dollar exchange rate, it has been astronomical. So is it the fact that it's just New York and Vegas? Well, we're going to find that out because we are going to head over to Pennsylvania and have something there. It's not a tourist spot. It's basically where people live, so it'll be interesting to see what the prices well, are like. Actually, that, that's, that's not quite true because it, it, it is um, Stroudsburg and that area. It's the Pocono Mountains, uh, which is a touristy spot for... Um, for locals. Or for New Yorkers. A lot of New Yorkers yeah. would come out here um, and they, they had... Um, kind of different resorts if you ever saw the movie uh, Dirty Dancing yeah. that was based uh, at a, a resort in the Catskill Mountains well this is the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania very similar uh, area um, and um, there's some skiing out here Camelback Mountain Mountain which people come out to in the winter and they'll rent homes and everything we're coming up to the Delaware Water Gap right now you can see it right there here we go. turn it around please yep take can. a look yeah we're chilling out here ladies in the rear Okay, so we're coming into Stroudsburg. Now, I've been here many a time before uh, with Martin, and I have to say, it is very, very, it's a little weird. If you've ever seen Stepford Wives and uh, them kind of towns where you ain't welcome around here, folks, kind of thing, it's got that kind yeah, of Stepford weird, Wives? Uh, what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether that made me laugh. Sure that I think thinking more like that guy that like gets them and chains them up in the backyard. He has no teeth and stuff, and a horror movie kind of thing, no? Yeah, well, it's pretty much like that. It's, 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 you ain't welcome round here, folks. You know, chewing on a on some tobacco. 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 Yeah. Hey, you ain't no. spitting my car. <laughs> I'll spit in your car. <laughs> so we're going to go and get something to eat. We haven't eaten for a week. Literally, I mean, I needed to lose some weight, but I don't know whether this was the best diet. Um, so we're going to go and get some food. Though we were going to go to Friendly's, but again, it's just another chain. I don't want to I do that. I think there's a little diner. There's a the nice club. little... Oh, maybe not. Oh, uh, I don't know. We're going to look for a nice little diner or somewhere. Closed. 
somewhere to get something to but eat. There's an Irish pub there. If we stay here later, we could. Uh, yeah, we could go to the Irish pub later. You know Another you know, Irish pub. Another Irish pubs. Yeah, lots of them in America. Anyway, we're going to find something to eat, show you guys, take you guys with us, and we're going to look at the prices. Uh, Stroudsburg should be cheaper than New York, should be cheaper than Vegas. Well, who knows? We shall see. Come on, stay with us. Come on, I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, man, I need orange juice. I feel like I've gone back to 1946. It's a tad strange. It's a little bit like Back to the Future where Marty goes back in time. This literally could be one of the places. Right, well, so the diner that we was gonna go to, that we've been to before, is now closed post lockdown. Uh, a lot of places not open. So we are going to go to Friendly's, um, which I've not been to for years. I can't remember what it was like. Can you remember what it's like? I think last time I went to a Friendly's was this one with you many years ago. Yeah, there's, um, there's Arby's as well. Friendly's, Arby's. Anyway, if, see what it's like. Mark it out of 10 and see what the prices are like. Come on, onwards. No, it's open. Is it? You run in, tell me. I don't know. The clock doesn't look open to me. Well, I've got to say, it doesn't. It doesn't look open. It doesn't look very inviting. Probably get in there and we'll uh, we'll end up getting abducted or something. It looks. It doesn't look very inviting at all. What's going on here? I don't think it's open. 11. Oh, is it 11? Ah, that's why. What time is it? Nope, it's 10. Alright. So, so, friendly's breakfast. Friendly's breakfast, that's a no. Okay, we'll have to try and find somewhere else. <laughs> We're doing well. Ain't welcome round these parts. Right, so we're going to head back to Stroudsburg. We're going to have a wander down the main street. We'll take you guys with us. Should be interesting, uh, so long as we don't get abducted along the way um, from strange people walking around in a daze. Spitting tobacco. So, uh, yeah, should be good. Spitting tobacco. <laughs> Spitting tobacco. Oh, God. Ah, do you know what? Stick with us, guys, because, I mean, anything could happen. It's, this is one of them vlogs that's just not planned. Anyway, come on, onwards. Right, so we're at Compton's Pancake House. Yeah. Ain't welcome around these parts, buddy. No pancakes for you guys. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a spot to park away from the... I mean, uh, di this truck says it all, really. <laughs> I tell you what. If we uh, if we need to stay, there's always a nice motel here as well uh, called the Bridge Views Inn. This looks top class. Just take a look. Actually, makes the travel lodge at Mansfield look uh, inviting, doesn't it? Anyway, Compton's Pancake House. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a pancake straight out of Compton. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah, you're, you're, 
go. Yeah. Go. Come on, let's go. Looks like he's busy. <laughs> Do you know what's going to happen though? We're going to walk in here, there's going to be all this conversation. It's going to as soon stop. as we walk in, he's going to go boom, deadly silent. Yeah. Oh, no, and just looking at us. Oh, jeez. They're already looking through the window. I feel a bit. Oh, dear. Anyway, come on, I'm starving. Me too. Okay, so uh, we've ordered. Uh, a lady's really nice, actually. She actually said, uh, why don't you go for the double-triple? Because I ordered uh, sausage, uh, uh, two eggs over easy, bacon, uh, toast, uh, and also uh, a, a pancake on the side. She says, you need to do the double special, or the double-triple, or whatever it is. Uh, 7.99, I think it was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, so uh, I said, yeah, let's go for it. one sausage in Vegas. Uh, cost us one, so one sausage in Vegas, yeah. Unbelievable. Um, so, looking forward to this. Um, my only dubious thing is I'll keep, I'll keep quiet is when you get these for your coffee. But, you know, got a nice orange juice as well. Nice big orange juice. Nice big orange juice. It tastes like it might be... Um, Fresh. Yeah. It's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. And uh, the lady says she likes to call it a hungry man. And we're a hungry man. Because we're not eating for a week. <laughs> I don't know if I can eat this. <laughs> I don't know that I'll be able to eat it all. But I, I need to get something, some food inside me. So uh, looking forward to this. <clears throat> right, okay. So uh, Jacqueline, or Jacqueline, uh, she just said her name is. She likes how it is in Paris. Um, looks pretty good, the eggs. Over easy, which is how I asked. Got the two pancakes. Well, got three pancakes? Two. Two? Oh, two pancakes, got two pancakes, got the toast, which uh, she asked whether I wanted buttered or not. I said no, uh, so I've got the butter on the side. Um, they've got the bacon in there as well. Oh, uh, Martin's put pepper all over his. Just take a closer look. Right, okay, there's your ketchup. So, let's dig in. Just get my uh, utensils here, my cutlery. There we go. We're going for the, uh, for the oh, look at that, look at that. Broke into the egg, just check this. Right, we're going for the sausage. 
yet to find a sausage in America that's got a little bit of girth to it. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit of right, the sausage is you the small or oh, the little sausage. Yeah, yeah. tiny yeah. little poodles, willy kind of sausage. But you're, you're an expert on those. I'll tell you what. You're I'm, an expert on those. Oh Ooh. man! Oh no! I've got butter all over me. I've got to tell you though. That is a tasty sausage, I've got to say. It's got a nice taste to it. Nice taste. Right, and we're going for the bacon. Here we go. Got a little bit of Ed Sheeran playing on in the background there. So we've got a nice little bacon. Not done overly done. Just nice, actually. A bit of crispiness to it, that's good. Mmm. That is nice. Now we've got the potatoes. Are these hash browns here, or are these... Uh, uh, home, fries. Uh, home fries. Home fries, I Home fries. Very nice. That's all that look nice. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. I have to say, that sausage has got a burst of flavour. Right, I'll eat this and we'll come back to you. We're we'll going for the pancake because obviously this is a pancake house, it's their speciality. We've got the maple syrup on the table there as well. We've got the butter, they look nice and fluffy, looking forward to it, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I've got to say, this is really, really nice. I am struggling as my appetite uh, has been lost a little bit in the last uh, 10 days. I have to say, I do like, I do like the look of the distressed leather. It's nice. I thought you were talking about your face. What is that on your chin? This. Yes. Everything. It's, it's designer stuff. What do you think? I don't have distressed water, leather. water at my house that you could have a proper shave for what Distressed for your leather and designer stubble. Is, oh, it's how it is. Yeah, it? it's like my, my, uh, my daughter, uh, Caitlin, and, uh, well, my eldest daughters, Caitlin and Paige, they have holes in the jeans, which is apparently the fashion. Same as that, distressed leather, designer stubble. Anyway, we're going to go onto the pancakes in a minute. Very nice. Oh man. Don't worry, we may have to get that to go. Kind of an American thing. We're going to go into the pancake. See what these are like. Can't have enough of this maple syrup. This looks like. Right, we're going in for the pancakes, which is what these are renowned for. The speciality pancakes. Straight out of Compton. Here we go. <coughs> oh yeah. Good? Mmm. They are very fluffy, very fluffy. Nice and tasty. Nothing like a bit of fluff. Mmm. Very, very good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Very, very nice. After watching you in Vegas, Peppermill, and then they, they, you, you turned into a pan, pancake head. I do like. I didn't used to like American pancakes. When I first came over in 1980, I got loads <coughs> of pancakes. Went to a pancake house, and I'm thinking that they were like crepes, like we have in the UK. And I was really disappointed. I thought, oh, it's like a cake. You know, like a fluffy cake. So I didn't eat them. But now, renowned taste, renowned. This is Excellent. great. Very right, good, thank, thank you, you Jacqueline. A little, bit more, a little bit more coffee, would oh, you can, can I have another orange juice as well, please? Coffee and OJ. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and OJ. OJ. Mmm. Very, very nice. Right. I think we'll... I'll eat this. We'll come back to you. We'll mark it out of 10. On price as well, because the price, you can't complain about the price. Right, okay. Uh, we'll wind this up quickly, because I, I, I need to go lay down. Um, it come to uh, 30 odd dollars, I think it was. It would have been more. Um, 
I left her a good tip, I left her a, about a $14 tip um, because she saved us quite a bit by doing the deal. Um, also, it cost me $5 to get the money out of the machine. Otherwise, they had another, I can't remember what it is, percentage on top of you pay by card. So, obviously, like they, they like the cash around these parts. Um, but um, I'm going to say it was pretty good. I'm going to go. Yeah, it was a small town small diner. Small That's town diner. Bu small town diner. Pancakes were nice. Seven ninety nine for for a breakfast with all that. That's really good. Well, then, it, then the bill comes to fifty dollars plus with the tip. Well, yeah, but also I think they added the orange. You had two orange juices which they added on, and the coffee and that. Yeah. But... Then your taxes <coughs> and your tip. Still got plenty. I mean, the, the t I think the sausage of the pepper mill. Pepper Mill Inn cost as much as the whole meal. But it was fine, it's, it was nothing nothing special, uh, but the food was, was, was cooked. Uh, food was good. good. I go, yeah, I go, what did I say? Seven point. I don't know, seven point. Seven point. Seven point five. It's like eating at home. Something like that's like eating at yeah, home. Yeah, I want to go seven point five. I didn't have to tip as much, but you know, I make money out of the videos. The lady was very, very. Yeah, she was, she was very sweetheart. nice. I think she, she was, she, she was more entertaining than you are. She, she, she is at the moment, yeah. She, she was really good, so I We're said, I said well, aren't we? Oh, we are. I said, I'm keep the change. I said, keep the change. She says, that's what I like to hear. So <laughs> she's really good. And it would have cost more anyway if we'd have gone for the original, uh, what we were going to do. Small town, Pennsylvania. Yeah. We've got the Bates Motel behind us right here Be as careful. well. Yeah. I think you can uh, rent them for about an hour as well. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. <laughs> or three minutes. <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm not that tired. <laughs> anyway. Um, so there you go, that's a nice little diner there. Again though, I've got to say, it's not as cheap as England, I've got to say. I mean, with England, you don't have to tip uh, because it's, they, they pay the, the servers a, a, a wage that's above the minimum, well, the minimum wage at least. It's different in the, U uh, in the US. Minimum wage here is not a living wage, $15 an hour, and, and a lot of places still don't pay $15. But that's not a living wage, I mean, you do, what's that? Uh, 40 times 15 for this, that's 600 dollars a week you can't live on that in, in america no so i tipped it because as i say i make money on the videos I like to i like to spread the love a little bit you know i heard that about you yeah so uh, here we go that's pennsylvania if you are coming on holiday to america you're gonna need to bring some money with you that's yeah. what i say that's yeah. why we went to skeggy and cleethorpes and uh Bridlington when I was a kid. You went to Bridlington? We had no bloody money. You were bloody lucky. Once you went to a Bridlington. bloody year, I get, we a, were. I get a nick of walk of glory once. That was my treat. We were lucky if we even got a trip down to Mansfield Market. You Mansfield were, Market? Yeah, you didn't know. We you didn't even bored. go to the market. We went in the backyard and killed pigs. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell. Ooh. Hey, I'm getting it back. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really. getting back. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't have the energy. He's yeah. back. My energy's coming back. It's all, <laughs> that's, it's all that's maple syrup. That's all from us today. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications. It's, it's down there. That thing down there. That, that thing, down, thing down, there. down there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, Dad. <laughs>